skill to bring that down. Talatholo looks for the offload, decides to hold on. Nathungu there at scrum half. Here's Motha Nathangi. Another Olympic gold medalist, but that one's gone over the shoulder into the hands of over. Jefferson Lee Joseph Iraguha. His Varian Pasque leads the French team for try assists to Riva. Captain back in the team. Here's Perez in midfield. Rabaj. Joseph, he gets the ball away. Iraguha. Just playing the patient game at the moment, and then a little bit of pace. Saw a half gap. Perez is there. Riva now tries to fix the defender. Over to the most experienced French sevens player of all time, Jonathan Logel. That ball's loose. Riva's onto it. Opportunity for France. Pasquet threw the ball to nobody, and Fiji can come away with it. He looked like he was on for a, a try for all money there, Pasquet, but threw the ball, and there was no one in support. Fiji survive. Satoranga offloads the ball to Nathungu. You can hear the Fijian support in the crowd wherever we go around the world. They always have great support of rugby sevens. Their national sport inside ball to Talatholo. He's being run down by. Joseph, but the stop go, just the, the hit of the pause button was enough to send Joseph Talatholo away for Fiji's first try here in Cape Town. Yeah, I was really impressed with Talatholo last week in Dubai. I like the late switch and the timing he did with Matana there. We had a lot of work to do, didn't he? Talatholo, it was a good chase by Joseph, but just the stop. And go again, just so easy. We well, makes it look easy. It's actually pretty tough. Former representative volleyballer in his youth, Talatholo, from the Tabandamu Rugby Sevens team. Just his eighth event on the series, 20th try. Captain Waisei Nathungu gets us back underway. Conversion successful. Fiji lead at 7 0. Perez lifted well by Rabaj. Raguha. Riva just spilled it cold. He had a look. He had a look at Nathungu and maybe Vakaru Nambili in his peripheral and he's dropped it cold. I'll tell you what, that's been a feature all day. A lot of teams have dropped passes that are in front that should be caught nine times out of ten. And absolutely scon them. Riva, we know the skill that the French skipper has. He'll be very, very disappointed. And Fiji, well, first time they've been down this end. Attacking set, that'd be dangerous. They want to back it up. That first try from Tatholo. Set. Filippo Bucayaro feeds the scrum. He's got support with Satorango and Nathungu. That falls loose, but Talatholo just bends down that tall frame into the hands of Jefferson Lee Joseph. He opts the ball nicely Over. to Perez. Pasquet now just drifts away from the defence. Slightly high arm from Vakarun Ambili. Yeah, they got the advantage. But again, another drop ball. It's unaccustomed, especially to a guy such as Nathungu, the skipper. And the French team I like the way they went straight from defence to attack. Made a couple of incisions through Perez, now they set up their set piece. Had a good start to the series, consistent, they're third overall. Remember early days at the top four at the end of the 11 events on this series will automatically qualify for the Olympic Games. France, of course, will be there as hosts. Pasquet, Bakarun on Billy, comes in with the shoulder, puts him on the deck. Logel, Perez. Thinks about giving it to Riva now to Iraguha. Nice one, two from them, but that's gone forward. See what they were trying to do, but again, the error. Yeah, I like it. That's what we used to call the old fish, where you hit the midfield, have a black loop, looper coming around and bounce back to blind and try and get a mismatch with some lazy forwards. But that time was Mothon Othangi, who wasn't being lazy, coming in. 
made that hit and caused this turnover. Well done. Did you get in the back line and see Muth on the swing? He's standing in front of you. I think his reaver is going to match up on him just on our bottom edge of the screen. Set. So Bukayaro, oh, he's going to go the open side. He's got Nathungu with him, but he might not need anyone. Bukayaro, Filippo. Oh, the finesse. He didn't need any help whatsoever. That was all Filippo Bukayaro, start to finish. Well, if you get a quick, clean hill, you're always going to have the overlap, and that's what he gets. You see here, that's quick. The halfback cannot come around because he's on the other side. The hooker can't get out, so you're exposed there. And he saw that straight away. That's a heads-up play from Filippo Bukayaro, but that's easy. He scored the try that sealed the Rugby World Cup of Sevens gold medal match here in September. It was at the other end of the field that perhaps he's just remembering that little moment here going over again. And it come from a mistake, remember, France mishandling. It was great defense from Morton the Thangi. And you can see the intensity, very, very different already, Rupert. Yeah, he's an army soldier. Solid character, fine rugby sevens player. Nathungu's going to get us back underway. Two maximum scores for Fiji, 14 nothing. Not held by Pasquet, but he can grab it because the ball went backwards. Raguhata Logel, France have hardly had a look so far. Quick hands from Joseph to Riva. Riva just trying to muscle up a bit here against Fiji. Perhaps that can make the difference for France. Saltorana goes in with the strip. There's the the foghorn. We're down by the wa waterfront here in Cape Town. Just signal the end of the first half. Logel just smooths away from a couple of defenders. Iraguha's got it, and again, it's gone forward into the hands of Akarunam Billy. That's just improvised again, chipped ahead off the floor. Here's Sauturanga. Sauturanga offloading. Oh, he's got support. It's Nathungu. It's wonderful. It's Fiji. Just doing Fiji things. Oh, sit back and admire this pass. Here he comes, there's the dummy, but look at this, you're talking about it, just it served up right there. Best on show today by a mile. Oh, love a slow, mate, look at that. That is skills personified. Just a millisecond before contact as well. The hit was coming. Mapungu, the beneficiary. Yeah, we all love Fiji when they play like that. <coughs> Three maximum scores for the flying Fijians. They lead France by 21 points to nil at halftime. Jérôme Daray, the French head coach. Nafungu, Bukayato and Saltorana have been running the show brilliantly for Fiji, leading France 21-0 at half-time in their pool A opener. Coming up next to close out our Friday night super session, South Africa, the top seeds here, winners in Dubai last week, up against Canada in pool A.
Fiji. 21-0, they lead France. Backwards. Second half underway, and they've got the ball back straight away. Behind the Thungu again, the step to Bakarun on Billy. Aguhar's got his elbows on the floor, so that's a penalty. I'll tell you what, that's smart do, though from Bakuru Billy. He knew he was isolated, so that long place with those long limbs, that's what forced Uguahua to go to his forearms and get that turnover, uh, get that indiscretion there at the breakdown. Tough this one again from scrum time to stop. It was a funny old tournament in Dubai last week, wasn't it? They put 50 points on Uruguay in their opening game. They, New Zealand beat them 24-7. They won their third game, but the, on points difference in the pool, three teams level in the group. They just missed out on the last eight knockouts. They ended up winning ninth place at a canter. Over on pitch two, there's Varian Pasquet to Perez. Grandidier, who the leading try scorer on the series, coming into this event. And there's a glimpse of what he can do. Gets away from two Fijians. 13 tries on the series. There's the offload as well to Rebadge. Can they keep the ball alive here? <laughs> Only one team offloads the ball. Only playing it on the floor. More than France on the series, Obviously and that is Fiji. That is their game. They do like to play Fiji style. Oh man, this is some supreme footwork from Grandidier. Look at it here. It's been nice view of it. Bang, bang, bang. Go a little bit more as well. Oh, he's got some Razzie. This kid, that's for sure. Superstar on the rise. Got the ball away also. You've got to wonder why he didn't start the game. Aaron Grandidier. He's been there. Main man so far this series, formerly part of the England Sevens doors. setup. On the line. Dual heritage. It's interesting, Fiji. Not They're on the line. Normally going yeah. to the set piece. Obviously they've identified something here, so they've decided to take the line out to launch. Good. Perhaps Ben Golling's head coach will save some energy, use up some easy meters. Long three-day tournament. It's been won by Talafolo in the lineup. Mofanathangi's with Nathungu. Nathungu takes the hit and offloads the big Savaloni Mofanathangi. Bukayaro just runs out of real estate and swings it back to Nathungu. Through the hands of Mofanathangi to Vakarunam Billy to Talafolo. All 6 4 plus. These big running, offloading forwards, sometimes backs, hurdling. Vakarunam Billy goes over the sideline. Just every time you think something extraordinary is going to happen. Oh, you can't see anyone in the screen support player wise and they just pop out from nowhere so, um, it's amazing to watch i was expecting uh Bakuri and billy's ball to go to someone as well in terms of an array of passing and offloading ability just the the penelope of passing variety that this team have the penelope of passing roots i like that i think that's a word i think reva hit hard by vakarun and billy might have hurt himself there, a bit of a stinger. Pasquet, little stop go. See, the hits are coming in from Fiji. It's what marks this team out so often from others without the ball as well. They can be lethal. Here's Grandidier, though, for France. Raguha's there in support, the offload off the deck. Reavers with him. Reavers better watch out because Talafolo's there, puts him on the floor. Rebaj sees some space, thinks better of it because Motha Nathangi was there. Grandidier now. Right foot step from Aaron Grandidier. Likes to get on the decks and DJ in his spare time. Here's Logel. Logel, just a bit of a head fake from the veteran. They get the penalty. Three minutes to go, not impossible, but France yet to score. Yeah, no one scored in the second half. And I like that one-two punch though, Grandidier and Pasquet. 991. Changes for France, Domon, Carroll and uh, Loretra in, anyway. in number 92 are out there. Paul Loretra wearing number 92, plays for Racing 92 in Paris. I'm pretty sure that's the connection. All players are now allowed to pick their own numbers. Thank you. The second World Series event, a couple of tries so far. Is Carroll, who actually captain France in a game in Dubai last week. Reva for the second time in the game oh, has well. just dropped it cold. And here's Wally Saliso. My Samoa's there as well. Wally Saliso again. My Samoa bursting through a half gap off lows to Talatolo.
Just that long, rangy stride and the, the handoff as well. His second of the game. Well, the difference in this game has been Fiji have been lethal from turnovers. That's the fourth one from France, and that's the fourth try Fiji have created off there. My Samoa was heavily involved two or three times in that whole set. The Talathola, no to try score. There's those long limbs you're speaking about, whether it be legs or his arms, so tough to defend. Loretra off the bench, but not much he could do about Joseba Talafolo. Still a rookie. But without a doubt, one of the superstars of Rugby Sevens right now. Felipe Saltorano, the police officer, gets us back underway. 28 0. Four flight. maximum scores for Fiji. We get the feeling they want more. They know how points difference can hurt them in rugby tournaments. They're going to go for everything here. Missed out on the top eight on points difference in Dubai last week. They weren't happy about it. Carroll goes into the turnover for France and wins it. Does well. Ron Didier's there. Riva now. Rebadge. Tried to offload it, but then just it got stolen. Away by Tira Walangi Patterson back into the hands of Grandidier now for France. 45 seconds to go. Coming up next, South Africa up against Canada in their tournament opener. The volume will increase, you can be sure of that. Here's Carol again, added some energy since he's come off the bench. Look at Fiji again going in for the strip. And they get the penalty as well. Tell a follow. Has forced the decision there. Yeah, and that's been the thing that's really stood out for mine, Rupert, is defensively they've been sound, especially when they've been broken by France, which has been two or three times, and they've got back and defended well. They haven't allowed France in, so I'm sure Ben Dolan's for him. That'll be the most Blue pleasing line. thing attack-wise. Well, they haven't really done much in set piece. The Blue line turnovers George. have been lethal. And again, they kick to the sideline. Burn a few seconds. It's been a very controlled professional effort this one this is a good win against a very very good informed french team yeah france a top three team on the series at the moment fiji fifth overall they'll be wanting to change that here in dubai this weekend that top four automatic olympic qualifying spots of course and they may well get more points before full time they do yoani oratu orathiri off the bench and putting the cherry on top for the flying Fijians. My Samoa again though comes in and adds a spark from the bench. He receives the ball now. There's the little stop and go kick and the pass just waiting for it. Timing was brilliant. Offload on point. Ratu Rafiri. Always nice to be able to come off the bench and add something. They like playing here to Fiji. World Cup Sevens champions on this very pitch. And they have started with a bang in Pool A against France. The flying Fijians all smiles and up and running. 33-0 over France.